Before this video begins, I want to warn you all. This is out of the Tyrell Martinson Cinematic Universe timeline order. I just watched Spider-Man No Way Home yesterday, and I'm still sobbing. But I have videos from the end of July all the way up to now that have not been posted yet, and for that, I apologize. I've just been busy growing into adulthood, which is very scary. I'm trying to navigate through life, man. I'm trying to get deep, and the airplane's flying by. This year's been kind of an odd one. I still love filming and editing and creating videos to look back on, and I'm gonna do that either way. I just have not been as consistent posting them as usual. So I literally have like seven videos from July to December that I'm gonna post after this one, but this video is a Christmas video, so I wanted to post it on time for the holidays. You already know what's going on in the title, baby. I'm trying Christmas Starbucks drinks that I have never tried before. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Have a very happy holidays and a happy new year. And I can't wait to finish and put out all the videos that I've filmed in the last five months. <laughs> That's all. Mwah. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. You're good. I just almost ran over a teenager riding his bike. Okay. <laughs> We're off to a great start. Hello everybody. Just got gas. I am on my way to the gym. This is um strawberry protein powder. Just mixed with water and it literally tastes like heaven. Why is it so dark, you guys? It's so dark. So early. It is so dark, so early. My car is just filled with shit. So I'm on my way to the gym, and do you want to know what's right next to the gym? A Starbucks! Um, as you guys know, I've tried fall drinks before. Last year, I did a trying fall Starbucks drinks for a week video. Um, excuse me. I guess I'll just hold you. Why do I look like that? I can't. I hate my life. I literally always hate filming in the car because this side is my bad side and my camera doesn't fit on this side of the car. But everything aside, in the comments of that fall video, I got some requests that I need to do a Christmas video trying Christmas Starbucks drinks for a week. It works out perfect because as is the same in the fall one, I get the same drink every time. So let's branch out this week and try new things, new adventures. During my fall drinks, I liked pretty much everything I tasted. So I have I have decent hopes going to this into this Christmas one. I would say my go-to Christmas drink is the same as the fall, a chai. So I get a vanilla chai with peppermint cold foam. And when I tell you that is ah, the peppermint cold foam just seeps into the vanilla cold foam. I messed that up. The vanilla, <laughs> vanilla chai. And it is heaven on earth, let me tell you. It's literally just tastes like Christmas and peppermint tea. Ah, so good. Which I'm pretty sure you can actually get peppermint cold foam all year round. But like, who's getting that in July? Wait guys, the sky is so pretty. Hold on. Anywho, yeah, that's my go-to fall drink. But this week, I have a list of Christmas drinks to try. I'm excited. I was gonna head to the gym before Starbucks, but it is getting dark. It's literally 5.19 p.m. and it is getting dark. That's, <laughs> we just, we love winter and how it gets dark at 4.30 p.m. It really just makes my mood just boost. We're going to Starbucks for a week. Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. It's November 8th. Starbucks holiday drinks come out literally at the beginning of November and I don't wanna wait any longer. Once Halloween ends, it's Christmas. Thanksgiving gets a little three day. That's it. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's do this, baby. There is not a single person in line. Hopefully it's not closed. Hi, welcome. Go ahead and order whatever you're ready. Okay. Can I get the ice sugar cookie latte? Can I get oat milk instead of almond milk? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. The awkward drive from the window from the 
speaker to the window trying to pull the wallet out of your sweatpants. I'm, I'm so embarrassing. She's literally watching me like frantically pull my card out before I pull up. Okay. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Let's park this bitch. For our first drink, I had to get the newest iced sugar cookie almond milk latte. I did get oat milk instead of almond milk. I'm gonna get every single drink with oat milk because oat milk is just the best. This drink right here is the new Starbucks holiday drink. Everyone is trying this. The day that they released the holiday drinks, my friend posted on her close friend's story a review of this drink. And she was like, you guys need to go and try this right now. And then everyone else started trying it. I was like, I'm behind, I wanna try it. Some people have said that it's really sweet. And then I saw a review of one of my friends today saying that it wasn't very sweet. There's cute little sprinkles on the top. And I think that's adorable. Yeah, pretty, pretty simple. Throw little next. Okay. <laughs> Smells very coffee. Okay, you know, I see what people say. I don't think it's very sweet, but it's like good. I just got a sprinkle. For me, like not like enjoying coffee, this is good. I would drink this. Like me as a chai drinker, I, I would definitely get this again. I can't really taste the sugar cookie. It's also a thing like, what if they made it different than another person made it? But no, Starbucks, I would say Starbucks has some pretty good like consistency, whereas like Dunkin' Donuts, <gasps> their drink tastes literally like a different drink every single time. Yeah, no, like, okay, I'm kind of feeling you. I would say this is pretty damn good. I would give it a good seven or like a 6.9 out of 10. A se I would give it a seven, maybe 7.1. Not too shabby. I understand why coffee drinkers would love this drink. I can see the hype. I wouldn't be like, this is the best drink on earth, everyone. But it it is good. I don't know if it really gives me Christmas either though. Hmm. Like yeah, they're green and red sprinkles. It's not like ho, ho, ho. We're here. It's more like, oh, this is God. And it's just like a everyday latte, but we're gonna put green and red sprinkles on it. But no, it's good though. It is. I feel like I've drank so much more than, than this. It's very like simple. It's, it's simple and fun and cute. She was like, I am just going to, to like kind of do the bare minimum, but like I'm gonna get a good grade anyway. I feel like I've drank in this whole drink, but I have not even drank in half. <sighs> I can't wait to shit myself while doing the stair stepper. It's been a minute. I went to the gym, back from the gym, and I started tasting it again. And I realized that it tastes like just an iced caramel coffee at McDonald's. I kind of enjoy those, but I think that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Okay, that's, that's my taste update. Fuck. It is a lovely, it's not lovely anymore. <laughs> I, every day I'm gonna try and set it up on my dashboard and it's just not gonna work. It is a lovely rainy Tuesday. Perfect for a nice Christmas Starbucks drink. Me and my mom did this Shanti dance workout this morning. Can I get a Grande gingerbread latte with oat milk? Oh, sorry. I, it's, yeah, let me pull it up. I'll just do a chestnut praline latte instead. Is that? Okay. Okay. Okay, um, do you have a toasted white chocolate mocha? Okay, I'll do that, and can I get it with oat milk? Okay, thank you. Okay, that was a hassle. It literally, if you search gingerbread latte, it comes up in 2021. Sir, I might have to order those online for 
in-store pickup tomorrow. Because that was embarrassing. I named two drinks and they were out. Literally right here. Do you see? Ice gingerbread latte. So today, this was on my list anyway. We're Today we're doing the toasted white chocolate mocha. That was kind of a mess. That was a journey to say the least. Sweet and delicately spicy gingerbread flavors mingle with our classic espresso milk and ice toppled with whipped cream and ground nutmeg for the perfect holiday touch. So we're just gonna do the toasted white chocolate mocha today. Like, that, that was just embarrassing. Thank you. You too. I'm so excited, I don't even care if that was nice. This looks fun and fresh and thrilling. In that little lick, I really tasted the toast. It smells good. <laughs> it's not bad, I'll tell you. I can see they definitely added red sprinkles. I can see in the little tiny little hole, so that's cute. There's red sprinkles with cream. I wonder how this would taste with chai instead of espresso. I almost want to say that like it doesn't even taste that different than yesterday's. It's not too like coffee for me. She, she's she's a cute little number. I don't know what else to say. I will say though, once again, like yesterday's drink, I'm not getting like Merry Christmas. That's why I wanted to try the gingerbread latte today to you know feel some fa -la, la 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 energy. This is just like, obviously yes, it's a hot drink that's good for the winter time. But when I sip it, I don't think, mm, this feels like Christmas morning. Like I'm just not getting that. And honestly, that it, it's just a toasted white chocolate mocha, but they essentially have it on the holiday menu. Like it has red sprinkles in it for God's sake. So like it's in their holiday menu. And I'm not really saying that to like bash it. I'm just saying like once again, I'm not getting Merry Christmas, but I think we're gonna get there at some point this week. I am, I'm gonna give this one another seven out of 10. I might like this one a little more than yesterday's. It's hard to tell though, because I think they're very similar. I want to give a little update. It's been like 20 minutes, but as I finish this drink, all of the red sprinkles are coming in my mouth and it's almost like they've become soggy. It's giving me the same vibe as when you get a refresher and all the fruits and berries that they add in there get soggy and just taste like you want to like gag when you drink it. So I'm going to have to dock some points off of my ranking for that soggy sprinkle reason, but I, th I still think I like it better than yesterday's drink. She's empty. No, babes. Not me just spilling that. Oh my god, like, did the top? I don't even remember tipping the cup over. Oh, now it's a mess. Hold on. I can't taste it off my leg or else that would spoil the taste. But I don't have any napkins in my car. I just went on a lovely five mile jog. What is that guy doing? When I finished running, I mobile ordered so that on the drive here, it'd be ready for me to pick up. And here it is. First of all, let's just <laughs> confirm. A gingerbread latte does not exist. It did exist, but it does not anymore. It must've been a glitch or something on line, but apparently it existed in 2018 and then Starbucks didn't continue it. So I'm super sad about that. Can't get a gingerbread latte unless I time travel three years, but that's obviously not happening. But today I got a peppermint mocha. I have high hopes about this one. It smells good. When I just wiped that off my leg, it smelled divine. Also, I'm wearing Moi's newest holiday crew neck. It is just like last year's Kissy Christmas crew neck. This is a forest green color, which I love. Super soft, super cozy. And by the time this is out, it will be on sale. Go get yourself a Kissy Christmas crew neck in green. The red ones did sell out last year. So without further ado, See, this, this drink gives me Christmas. When you taste it, you feel the peppermint, the mintiness, 
which I love. This is something that I'm like, oh, I want this on Christmas morning as I'm opening my gifts. But the question is, do I like it better than the other drinks? Yes, it's Christmassy, but I think I do like it better than the other drinks. It's hard though. I will say, I think this one, when you drink it, it gives you like a dry feeling in your mouth. I don't know. It's a pretty similar dupe. I would say it's hot chocolate. Except hot chocolate would be the dupe because this is more expensive than the hot chocolate. But like, that's the vibe. You know, this is their signature. Every year they got this. Every year they have the peppermint mocha. You can count on them to have the peppermint mocha. This is the one where you just look outside, snow is falling as the carolers sing, and you're like, it is winter time, baby. Bye, crew night. Moda chop. Link in description. As always, it's always in the description. Hi. I get a Cessna Pauline Latte. Uh, holy pies. Yes. Hi. Happy day four. I am in the Salt Lake City Airport and I am stranded. I'm supposed to fly to Orange County, as I do, and there were plenty of seats. And then out of nowhere, it became oversold to something that I did not make the flight. And I have to wait for the next one. I don't even know if I'm gonna get on that one because there was seven people with confirmed tickets who didn't even get on the flight, so they're all gonna move to the next flight with me. <sighs> who knows if I'm gonna make it. So I was planning on doing this fourth taste test in California, but you know, Life is unexpected. So here we are in the Delta Sky Club. Luckily there's a Starbucks and there was not that long of a line. So today I got the chestnut praline, praline, the chestnut latte. I think it's new this year. I got it iced because I'm sweating in this airport, all of the stress. I'm not gonna enjoy a hot one in the slightest. So they added this one little sprinkle on top. It looks very cute. I have no idea how this one's gonna taste. I've never seen anyone try this one. So I have no clue. I guess let's just try it. Okay, I taste the nut, the nuttiness for sure, but it's not like too nutty. It's just like so tough. I can't tell if this is my favorite or my least favorite. It really has the potential to be my favorite, like it could be. This one's hard. The sprinkles taste good. Poppy taste isn't bad. I really can't tell if it's my favorite or least favorite. No, I think. I think I'm gonna go on a whim here and say that this one's possibly my favorite. The first taste I was like, hmm, least favorite. But now I'm like, hmm, I see the vision now. Like you're not gonna get it the first time, but you're gonna get it the second time, you're gonna get it the third time. I, I gotta say, Ugh. is it my favorite though? That's hard, this is gonna be a hard ranking. I definitely recommend this one though, actually. Very interesting. These sprinkles also aren't getting worse as I drink them. They don't taste gooey like the toasted white mocha did. So that kind of has to make me rank it above that. This might be my favorite. I'm trapped. No, I, as the minutes go by, I think this might be my favorite, but the peppermint mocha tastes more like Christmas, as I was saying yesterday. So that one might have to have a lot of thinking to do. It's been about a month since I've tried my last Starbucks drink. And the reason being is that I simply could not find a fifth one that I haven't already tried. So then today I was thinking, well, I'll just go to Starbucks today and get my classic vanilla chai latte with peppermint cold foam and oat milk. But then I was like, I don't really want to leave the house. So 
I just made, there's an airplane flying by, sorry. So I decided to just make my classic cup of hot cocoa with some whipped cream and sprinkles of cinnamon and give my ranking on the official four that I haven't tried because we all know that my vanilla chai would have ranked number one either way. So, let's recap. We had, on day one, the new big drink of the season. The sugar cookie almond milk latte. Day two, we wanted to have a gingerbread latte, but it didn't work out. So, we went to our actual third option of that day. The toasted white chocolate mocha. And then day three, we had our always there for you peppermint mocha. And day four, we kind of had a newbie of the town. A chestine, nope, chestnut. Halloween latte. And there was simply no fifth holiday drink for me to try. Cause I knew that if I tried a fifth drink with chai. Like, why is that necessary? I knew that if my fifth drink had chai in it, it would not be fair to the other drinks. We're just gonna rank these four new ones that we tried and move along with our lives. This ranking is very hard because I didn't dislike any of them. And they all were kind of like on a factor of, I don't love this drink. I'm not obsessed with it, but like, it's okay. Last place ranking. I think I'm gonna give two. <laughs> I'm really trying to think here, this is hard. Fourth place is going to the toasted white chocolate mocha. It was good. I finished it really fast, but the holiday sprinkles ended up getting soggy, ruining the vibe. Now that I have had time to process all of the drinks, I think that one is gonna be last for me. Third place. As the sugar cookie almond milk latte. I almost just wanted to rank this second, and I kind of almost wanted to rank it fourth, but I'm gonna put it in the middle because it wasn't bad. It was a nice little almond drink. I didn't even get almond milk in it, I got almond milk. I think the reason being is that my expectations for this drink were set so high that I simply just tasted it and it was just mid. I was like, you're fine. I don't like hate you, but you know, <clears throat> it could have been better. I didn't taste any sugar cookie in it. It was just like a blonde espresso. It did remind me of just a simple caramel iced coffee at McDonald's. And it's a dollar there or two dollars. So if I want this sugar cookie drink, I'm just gonna go to McDonald's and spend a dollar instead of six fifty. Second place. And this might come as a shock to you all. The peppermint mocha is my second rating because it does, it gives you Christmas. With the peppermint, obviously. It gives you your peppermint, those Christmas vibes you want. But it's not ranked first for me because I don't think it's my favorite taste. And I almost actually wanted to rank this third, but I'll be nice. And that leaves first place. Going to the only spot left, the chestnut praline latte. Am I pronouncing it right after all this time? Who knows? That one, as I was at the airport waiting for my next flight, it was a perfect little beverage. It gave me Christmas without even the peppermint, which is, you know, a harder thing to do. It satisfied my taste, and I think it overall had the best flavor. So for that reason, I am ranking the chestnut praline latte number one. Now that I have tried all the new drinks, until next year at least, who knows what they'll create next. I will be simply going back to my ice vanilla chai with peppermint cold foam and oatmeal. Happy holidays. There's another plane flying by. Oh, and get a green kissy Christmas grenade. <laughs>